Now, today, uh, Mario has agreed to show me how to make a beautiful half moon ravioli. A full moon, actually. A full moon. Oh, a full moon. Yes. Oh, a full moon ravioli. Uh, oh, it's not mezzaluna. It's no, it's lune. Oh, lune. Which exactly. is the whole moon. I'm sorry. And, um, and although, how do you know that? Well, you could make it anything you want. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's, it's your show. I mean, we can make a mezzaluna <laughs> right now, baby. <laughs> and it is filled with a wonderful butternut squash amaretti. Exactly. Uh, so I should... Just, right. So what we've done is we've oh, well, split yeah, the uh, butternut show. squash. Yeah, okay. so we've just salted and peppered for it. For everybody at home so that right. they Be know. Be very careful. Yeah, this is hard, but it's um, not too difficult She's to cut powerful in half. hands. Yeah. She can do anything. I can Trust cut me. this in half. Just right give through it a little that bop. stem. There you go. Well, here, I'll just cut the stem off. There if you, you have go. trouble going through the stem, cut the stem off. Right. Right? And then okay. while you're doing that, I'm going to start making the pasta. There. We take three and a half cups of all-purpose flour and four eggs. Okay. Now you're going to de-seed that, right? Right. And then you're going to... Remove the seeds. Remove them and then put the... Uh, now these seeds, don't throw away. They're, they're just like pumpkin seeds. You can dry these, wash them and dry them in the oven with a little salt. Right. Which I'd like to do. Or a little salt and a little sugar and a little cinnamon oh, or whatever yes. you feel like. As, yeah. As gilded as lily as you may need. Okay. And then we're going to bake them yep. with just salt and pepper, just like you would bake a potato. And a little olive oil. Right, a little olive oil, which is how we bake potatoes in mm. my house. Oh, you do? Yeah. Olive oil? All olive oil, salt, and pepper. On the skin. On the skin. Yeah. And then we eat the skin, of course. Oh, I just, do too, yeah. We're skin eaters from way back. Okay. So that's nice. I like how you're making the pastas very simply. Just right. eggs. This is the very traditional, nothing in there. No we don't salt. put oil, no salt, no nothing. No. Because when you salt your pasta is when you cook it in the water. So we always have very aggressively seasoned water when we cook the noodles themselves. So I'm taking this beautifully cooked um, roasted uh, butternut squash out of the skin, which right. you can then eat. If which you, you can eat just like that. I mean, that's right. as you don't perfect want the skin a food as filling. nature will give you. Is that right there? Well, it's full of uh, it's full of um, calcium, potassium, A and magnesium, D. absolutely, yep, A, D, carotene, all the good things. Okay. And then so, we're going to just add a couple things to it. So you're going to mush it up using yep. the musher I just brought okay. in for you. We're going to add a little it's bit. It's easier, by the way. This is a little cold now. It's easier to get the flesh when out it's right out when it's oven, right, right out of the oven. Yeah, it's much exactly. softer and, um, and easier to deal with. So mush it with a potato masher. Right. And then add just a few ingredients. Because the food is so perfect by its natural self, one of the big things about Italian food is making sure that things still taste like they did when they come out of the garden. So we're just going to add a little bit of Parmesan. I'm missing my garden already. Okay, so salt. Yep. Touch pepper. salt. Touch of pepper. Oh, this beautiful Parmesan cheese—a half a cup. Parmigiano Reggiano, oh, the undisputed yes. king. Now, how much? Two two tablespoons of balsamic yeah, vinegar. Yeah, let's go with one and let's see what it looks like. Oh, this is the aged. Yeah, this is the real syrupy. thing. Syrupy. Oh, I love that. I think one's going to be enough. There. Yeah. Okay. And then as much nutmeg as you can feel like. Okay. Now I've kneaded this dough, and you'll knead this dough for about ten minutes, then you'll let it rest. And you'll wrap it in plastic just like so. Right. So no eggs in the filling. No eggs whatsoever. Uh -huh. And one of the key things to a ravioli filling is understanding that it's very much just like the sauce of the ravioli. So you don't want it firm like a quiche. You want it to be soft. If anything, you would add a little bit of oil or a little bit of milk there okay. so that when you cut into it, it oozes out. To well, what do you think? A pasta. little oil? I would add just a little yeah, bit of oil. I, I think so too. Oh. Maybe even a half a cup. Really? Yeah, hey, you can't have Okay, well, but no egg, but no oil. egg. But no egg, nothing to okay. set it. You okay. don't want it to become firmer. You'd rather it become looser. Looser, okay. Now with one of these cool devices, the most important thing to remember is run it through that first number five or six times. This is gonna be what allows it to develop, which helps it to develop that gluten, which eventually will give it that beautiful, not necessarily al dente, but a certain kind of elasticity to it. And each one, just a little bit more. And another thing, when you're doing this pasta, don't add so much flour to these rolling wheels that you challenge it too much. Right. You don't want it to become too dry. It doesn't need a lot of dry. flour. It doesn't because it doesn't. they're actually really nicely designed. And you don't want to add a lot of flour, which will eventually dry out that pasta. And what okay. we're going to do is we're going to take a, about a half of a tablespoon. Okay. The trick to understanding this is you want it as full as you can be, but you do not want to challenge the integrity of the wall of the ravioli with the liquidity, nor the border of the ravioli by coming out too far. And so, this is very, very delicious filling. So I think I can only get four. You get five. There you go. Well, I don't know about that. I'm going to see what happens here. So okay. then you put the top on. So you don't need any water. No, as long mm -hmm. as your, well, if your pasta is dried out a little bit because you made a little bit in advance, you could use a little water, but I don't think we need a to. A little water around the filling. You just, would just take the little brush so, and just yeah, brush it so around the, a little bit. So that one side fits the other, right? 
then. Okay. So I would say that this is a little too little a cutter, wouldn't you? No, I think you're just right. You want to go right to that okay, edge. Okay, but you're wasting so much pasta. Well, no, then you reuse the pasta. Oh, okay. I mean, have you, have you ever heard of mal tagliati or malfatti? Yes. That's what's left over, particularly in Emilia Romagna, when they're making the tortellini, which they always make with this round shape. They'll take these pieces like this and then just rip them up like that and, and serve oh, them, put them in the pasta mm. fagioli. Now, we have a lot of salt in that water. Yes, I put in probably four tablespoons in this just scant okay. gallon. Okay. Uh, the idea would be that it's almost as salty as seawater. Okay. Because that's really the only seasoning you have other than the, uh, other than the, uh, mm, the filling. The filling has to be perfectly dressed, but this and is what's really important. sage leaves, about six sage leaves, whole sage leaves, in a beautiful butter that's going to turn a little bit brown, right? You right, want a little exactly. Brown. Okay. Just to that almost yeah. light color. Okay. And now we're just ready. So we're going to toss them in. Hello, love. Is stuffed oh. pasta say anything better to you than oh. I'm madly in love with you and I want you to feel good? <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, other than one particular act, is there any act where you can actually create something that someone's going to put in their body? See, I didn't eat any breakfast today on purpose. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. So now that's set. Yeah. We just kick the heat. You go like that. You make sure everyone gets at least one sage leaf. Okay. And then before you close the story here, you take a beautiful homemade amaretti cookie mm. because traditionally this pasta had amaretti cookies and mostarda inside, inside it. Yeah, that's right. So I like to put it on the outside because I like the... It's also fun to go to the table and bring a cookie instead of cheese because people really think oh, that's exciting. Yes. 